Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and vital sex and the topic for this video is how to create tantric sex sacred space. So I have seven tips for you and uh, what I'm going to do in this video is show you a little bit around my space here, which is not necessarily a space which is uh, only dedicated to uh, sexual experience. It's also an activation space. You know, I use that for workshops and, and gatherings. Uh, but so that it gives you a little bit of, uh, of an idea. So the first element is uh, mantras and sacred words. So if you uh, look at what, what you have over here, these are mantras in Sanskrit and uh, What I did is create what I call a fire circle all around the space. And uh, this is a powerful way to, you know, to activate the tantric, uh, tantric vibration and sacredness. So you have that small circle there and then you have another circle up up here with a different set of mantras. I call that one the power circle. And then I have a you know a massage table for body work and the whole table here again is covered with uh, mantras and uh, formulas as well. So this is the first uh, the first element to use mantras. If you're not familiar with mantras, you can go and uh, grab these pictures directly from my website, make some uh, some copies, you know, print them, and you will be able to create your own uh, tantric sex space. The second uh, aspect is uh, sacred images. You see that this is a beautiful image of a Kuan Yin. So it's one of the goddesses in the in the Taoist or Chinese system, it, she could be also Tara, you know, she could belong to different different systems. Uh, yeah, so you have, uh, as soon as you bring in some deities like that, you, you create, of course, uh, a space which becomes dedicated to something very specific, you know. It's not a picture of a car or a picture of a city, it's a picture of a deity, which is an invocation, it's a specific invocation. Another aspect or another element in creating sacred space is really to create beauty. So this is the space where I sleep. That's my like my bedroom on the balcony here. See that there is all these nice mosquito nets. I've got some uh, nice view here on the rice fields. And the quality here that I want to uh, to point out is the quality of, uh, of beauty. You know, being surrounded by beauty makes it really uh, pleasurable to, uh, to engage and that creates uh, secretness. Another aspect is crystals. You know, crystals have a certain vibration and a certain energy which is going to polarize life in a certain way. So I have certain crystals which are uh, in the space over here and I created a, a kind of pyramid. Up here there is one and then I have more on the four corners and that creates an energetic uh, pyramid and I didn't work on that too much but you know it could be could be much more than, than that of course. Um, another aspect of creating sacred space is to create comfort. You see that this little cozy space here, lots of cushions, and it's very comfortable. Uh, you know, I tend to be a, an extreme tantrika, so when I go to the Himalayas, I sleep on rocks. I uh, don't usually care too much about my own comfort, but when, when it comes to sharing intimacy, you know, it's important that your lover can relax in that space, and that you are really, really comfortable instead of, of hurting. So depending on 
who you are engaging with and who your lover is, you know, sometimes it's it's fun. It's nice to challenge each other and uh, not necessarily to, to have too much comfort, but be in this space where you're creating uh, a yogic and tantric energy. For instance, when I practice yoga, I practice directly on the marble floor. I very often don't use a, a yoga mat because um, I find that it connects me with, with the ground with much more much more power. I'm not saying that that's how you should have sex, but it's an option. It's a possibility, you know, to to um, to actually connect really with the elemental forces, you know, and be in uh, energetic space that are going to be challenging a little bit your body. Another aspect about creating sacred space for uh, tantric sex is to remove the distractions. So if you look into the space here, there's absolutely nothing that is distracting our attention. There is no big screen TV in this space. It's all dedicated to just creating a, a background energy, which is just soft, beautiful. Some candles here, some cushions, and that's it. And um, you notice that there, are, you know, there is no computer in the space. There is no big screen TV. Uh, the cell phone, we keep it in check, you know, every now and then I have it in the space, but uh, most of the times for the night I might uh, remove it and put it in another in another room. So that means no distractions. The other thing that you notice in this space as well, maybe you, you hear it in the background, lots of crickets. So um, I call that the soundscape, the sound and music that you're using. And that also is going to be an element that um, that is going to create the, the secretness. Right now, we are not surrounded by roads. There is no big uh, traffic jams just next door. There is no police cars in the background. It's a very peaceful and quiet setting. When you are next to the ocean and you have the sound of the waves, for instance, or you have the sounds of nature or river nearby, which creates this nice, um, you know, nature sounds, it's it's really powerful and beautiful. and. Uh, for me, the ideal soundscapes are either that or some uh, soft, sacred music in the background, very often mantras that are going to be uh, played in soft ways in, in the background. And that creates a certain, you know, cert certain nurturing of uh, your audio senses. Okay, you get the picture, right? It's not complicated, you know, we are not talking about some, something that is complicated, but uh, it works really well. And uh, you might not see it here, but this space is octagonal, so it's a sacred geometry together with the house. If you look at the house from the distance, it looks a little bit like a spaceship, which is uh, very lucky for me. I ended up in this place. Um, but um, yes, yeah, so the fact that the, the, the geometry and the, the architecture of the house has been really uh, thought of uh, consciously is important as well. All these elements are all, you know, they are not deal breakers. It means that if you live in a space which is uh, where there is some noisy road around or where you don't have necessarily all the beauty and you might have some distractions in the space, you might still have a fantastic tantric experience. Uh, they are not necessarily deal breakers, but they are going to add elements. So when you create the space, think about how optimized the space is. You can give your, your, your space a mark between zero and 100% and try to check in, you know, what is it that you can do? Is this, is this something, is there something easy that you can do to enhance the quality of the space and enhance the energetics? And very often what that means, it means removing, removing distractions, adding beauty, uh, bringing some incense and oils. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one, which is the, the light and the, the, the candles as well. So very often there are very simple steps that you can, that you can take to bring uh, secretness to the space that you are in. Hope you enjoy. Have fun.